Hello, this is Davey Havoc from AFI, and I was raised on video games. I have many, many childhood memories of video games, though I have zero knowledge of modern video games. If you want to talk video games from Pong through, maybe we'll get through uh, Echo the Dolphin and Tetris, I think we could get there, but really it was the center period of, of Pac-Man and, and Food Fight and Qbert that holds me and that, that is dear to my heart. Um, I have many, many great memories of that era as it was the focus of my life when I was a child. I remember the first time I played Pac-Man, I was in Santa Cruz and um, I was brought to an arcade and it had just been released and there was people swarming around the machine and the quarters were up top and I was just a little grommet and um, my caretaker was playing the video game and I was just fascinated and enamored and she broke her nail uh, an expletive was spoken and she said Dave take the joystick and I was panicked because everyone was watching and it was you know such an important game an important time and um, I died immediately but from there on I was I was hooked and I would my grandfather would take me to Chuck E. Cheese and he would take my cousin and I and it was really my raison d'etre, it was, it was it. And we had a great symbiosis, my cousin and I, because she loved the pizza and I cared more about the video games. And my, grandma, my grandfather would give us tokens and she would trade me her tokens for my pizza. And then I would play video games all day. I could talk to you about when I got my first 2600, which my parents forbade me to have and weren't going to get it for me when it was released that Christmas season in 82 or 83, but my father's boss got it for me and gave it to me without my parents knowing. I remember the expression on my parents' face when they saw me open the present, which was probably the opposite of my expression when I opened it. And um, I was a little upset because I thought um, at that time I wasn't really aware of technology and though I had been playing um, Pitfall and Tank when Pac-Man and Donkey Kong came out I expected them to look like the stand-up video game for some insane reason they were still 16-bit but um, those were all very important moments in my life